Meet the powerful U.S. anti-missile RIM-7 Sea Sparrow. In 1960, NATO presented a project on the propulsion system by exemplifying the idea of a smart defense initiative to give an effective self-defense capability for NATO and U.S. surface combatants against some of their developing threats. The Sea Sparrow surface missile system with Radar Intercept Missile 7, or RIM-7, is one of the military systems. This NATO weapon system has undeniably performed above their expectations since it was first designed by Sperry and the US Navy and later built by Raytheon and General Dynamics. So, what does the RIM-7 Sea Sparrow surface missile system look like? Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are talking about the RIM-7 Sea Sparrow Surface Missile System, SSM, or commonly known as RIM-7 Sea Sparrow, which is one of the weapon systems from the largest and longest-running cooperative smart defense initiative in NATO history. So, let's get going. The RIM-7 Sea Sparrow is a radar-guided, surface-to-air missile and was initially developed based on the AIM-7 Sparrow air-to-air -air missile used by the Marine Corps and US Navy. In this avatar, the RIM-7 Sea Sparrow was a very straightforward weapon system guided by a manually pointed radar illuminator and was classified as a lightweight point-defense weapon that could be rapidly installed to existing ships, typically switching existing gun-based anti-aircraft systems. Though, after its introductions in early 1970s, the RIM-7 Sea Sparrow experienced extensive improvement, which was intended at perfecting its anti-ship missile defense capabilities through constant technology improvement. It then became an automated weapon system similar to other US Navy missiles such as the RIM-2 Terrier. Later, the air-to-air -air mission was taken over by AIM-120 Amram, while the RIM-7 Sea Sparrow received a series of upgrades aimed solely at the naval duty. It currently looks like the AIM-7 in general form, except it is now larger, faster and features a new seeker, as well as a launch system capable of vertical launch from modern warships. The RIM-7 missile has been used by the US Navy on three ship classes, CVN, LHA, and LHD, and remains as a vital component of a multi-layered air defense system, offering a short-range component that is particularly effective against sea skimming missiles. Now, let's see the RIM-7 Sea Sparrow's general characteristics. The RIM-7 Sea Sparrow has a cylindrical body with four foldable mid-body wings and four tail fins. The wings are hinged at a position approximately halfway down the span, with the outer sections rotating back toward the missile's fuselage, similar to how carrier-based aircraft are done. This allowed them to be stored in tighter container tubes in the new MK-29 launcher, where they would automatically flip open when released. In addition, this RIM-7 Sea Sparrow has a length of 3.64 meters with a diameter of 20.3 centimeters, wingspan of 1.02 meters and a weight of 225 kilograms. Also, built with Hercules MK-55 solid propellant rocket engine and a Nuller blast fragmentation warhead weighed to 40.5 kilograms, the RIM-7 Sea Sparrow can propel with maximum speed of up to 4,256 kilometers per hour at an effective range of 19 kilometers. Moreover, as a short-range, semi-active homing missile, the RIM-7 Sea Sparrow uses radar uplinks or pulsed Doppler radar energy to make flight adjustments and is launched from the MK-57 Sea Sparrow missile system, the MK-29 guided missile launching system, as well as the MK-48 guided missile vertical launching system. When the missile is fired, the launcher would automatically follow the illuminator's motions so that it could observe the signal being reflected off the target right away. These make RIM-7 missile enable to provide reliable ship self-defense capability against a variety of air and surface threats, including anti-ship cruise missiles that travel at high speeds and at low altitudes. Therefore, the RIM-7 Sea Sparrow becomes effective as an anti-aircraft and anti-missile weapon system to defend against anti-ship missiles. Since its first deployment in 1976, the RIM-7 Sea Sparrow has been widely used by the US Navy, NATO and other NATO's international partners. By January 2019, a unit of RIM-7 Sea Sparrow costs $165,400.
It is also important to note that this RIM-7 Sea Sparrow has a series as part of Radeon's upgrade program. Some of them include RIM-7E and RIM-7M. The original RIM-7E version had a range of 15 to 22 kilometers and could fly at Mach 2 Plus between 30 and 15,000 meter, depending on the target height. Meanwhile, the RIM-7F improved the performance of the previous version, including the proximity fuse against low-flying targets by reducing the minimum altitude to 50 meter or less. On the other hand, the RIM-7M could hit targets from an altitude of 8 meter, giving some protection against sea-skimming missiles like the Exocet. Despite the upgrade program of the RIM-7 missile in particular, the Radium missile systems has also designed and manufactured the latest variant of the RIM-7 Sea Sparrow, namely Evolved Sea Sparrow Missile Block 2. So, how does the Evolved Sea Sparrow missile differ from the initial RIM-7 Sea Sparrow? Well, the Evolved Sea Sparrow missile is a medium-ranged, surface-to-air missile with Radar Intercept Missile 162, RIM-162. The missile is now in use by the US Navy and several of the NATO Sea Sparrow nations. Naval combatants can rely on RIM-162 ESSM for its reliable self-defense and high firepower. This is mainly because the missile can defeat high-speed, low-velocity air threats, highly maneuverable anti-ship cruise missiles, high-diving threats and surface-based targets, the ability which RIM-7 Sea Sparrow is not capable of. The RIM-162 ESSM also allows to engage attack planes, ships and helicopters. Additionally, the RIM-162 missile has been proven to effectively attack aerial threats during the Nimitz-class aircraft carrier Theodore Roosevelt's combat system ship qualification trial in May 2014, and the NATO Sea Sparrow Project Office also conducted a flight test of this advanced missile in 2020, catching a BQM-74E aerial target which became successful. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments down below. Be safe and stay well.